Countryside Tourism Proker, Atinus and Alexa are three war comrades. They are the city commander, deputy and political commissar. Proker and Atinus are brothers. They just buried their father. Alexa warned his comrades about Stalin's picture. He told Proker to take down Stalin's picture. This offended Proker and he stormed out. Alexa and Atinus knew that they could get punished because of the picture. They agreed to arrest Proko if he resisted. Alexa ordered Proko to take down the picture of Stalin. Proko shouted furiously that he was the commander here. The guard was called and they arrested Proko as a Stalinist. They took down Stalin's picture and hung a picture of Comrade Tito. That's how Alexa became the commander of the city. The People's Court awarded Atanas the entire inheritance. Alexa and Atanas remained inseparable friends. They agreed to spend the summer in the countryside. Alexa's son, Stevan, chose one household. Old Mountain is rich in clean rivers and air. The host was happy with the expected guests. The travelers got out and the host started to meet them. His wife also hurried after the host. And then the shock. Three war comrades found themselves face to face. In an unpleasant atmosphere, the hosts led the guests. Where did Proka come from on the Djankovic family estate? Proka came to this village after his imprisonment and got married. This is the wife's property, and he took the wife's last name. He lives with his wife Dasa, daughter Mira and son Asa. Proka's rich brother, Atanas, has neither wife nor children. Atanas admitted that he genuinely suffered because of Proka. Alexa, half drunk, begged Proka to forgive him. Proka had long since forgiven their meanness. Alexa and Atanas felt the need to redeem themselves. They offered to undertake the education of their daughter. Alexa proposed that Mira marry his son Stevan. The city guy, Stevan, watched Mira work. Mira was a strong girl who skillfully works in the barn. But Stevan felt some repulsion towards Mira. The sharp smell of the barn was unpleasant to him and he left. While walking, he came across Asa carrying hay. Stevan enthusiastically praised Asa's muscles. Asa touched Stevan's tender muscles. Stevan tried to transfer one bale of hay. There was a silence. And then they passionately clung to each other. Mother asked Mira if she would marry Stevan. Mira screamed at her mother to never ask her that again. Asa expressed his desire to go to the city for education. Stevan insisted that Asa come to town for school. Atanas promised that Asa would be his successor. Alexa promised to find Asa a good job. The day of parting came and Asa set out for a new world. The old mountain slowly disappeared behind the speeding jeep.